I've had to change of heart, change of plans. So, but this is how cars evolve um, or things spiral out of control. Either way, you want to look at it. But hey, this is where we're at. So, yesterday I built these lines, these uh, radiator hoses, and they look good. I think they look good. But after thinking about it, sleeping on it, I think they will look better if this came straight out and was horizontal, did a 90 degree down and then a 90 degree straight into the radiator or the water pump. And the same thing with the lower one. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so first things first, I'm going to cut the flanges off of these shower handles that way i have some 90 degree bends and then i'm going to weld them to the straight pipes and we'll get this thing uh fitting and it'll look a lot better i think it'll look a lot better so i'm gonna get the saw set up get these things cut out and then uh i'll come back when i'm welding the pieces together Okay, so I have all my 90 degrees, uh, all my 90s cut out. I have a level here to make sure that the, the car itself is not level, but it is pretty close. The bubble is in between the lines. So I'm just gonna match it up. Uh, the radiator uh, straight tube. Now this is stainless, so this will not stick to it. It's not magnetic, but I can just eyeball it. That's where it needs to be. Right around in there. And then I can see how much down I got to do. So I'm going to use my shorter of the two. See, I have two. I got one that's longer and one that's shorter. Now I'm kind of just eyeballing it and getting it close and then i will fine tune it after it's tacked together and uh we can tack the whole line together and then weld it all up so i'm going to tack the small one to the long tube and then i will trim this long tube to line this up perpendicular to the tube that's going straight into the water pump Okay, what I'm using this green tape, it's high tip tape uh, used for powder coating. I'm just, I'm just holding it up here. I got it on here just to hold the piece in place and I'm gonna tack it together. Now this high temp tape, it'll melt away and it will not leave a residue like masking tape would. That's why I use this tape for this purpose, this purpose only. Um, Typically with stainless steel, I always back purge, but since I'm just going to tack this up in uh, two places, right here and then right here, I'll remove the tape and tap, tack it again. I'm not going to back purge, but when I fully weld everything up, I will back purge this tube. Same thing with the other one. I always back purge all my stainless unless I'm just tacking it. I'm using a FUPA Michael Furyk. Uh No, it's not FUPA. It's uh, the BBW gas lens uh, for all my stainless welding lately. All right, there's our first one tacked on the inside and the outside. Now we can go and set it, set it in the car, mark it to where we need to, to trim it off because it's too long now. Mm 
Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour, bonjour. Right there. There's my mark. Now I'll cut that off, slide that in the tube, and we'll see where we're at. Now I gotta go deburr it. I'm gonna deburr it uh, with my Marabraid. I talked about it uh, yesterday, so I will show it to you now. If you don't know what one of these, if you don't know what one of these are, there are two by 72 inch belt sanders, and I use this thing on a daily basis. Uh, it's got quick change belts. Just pull this lever down, swap the belt out, put a new one on. It's best belt sander I've ever had. Um, works awesome. Now, and that see that's that's quick, and you can grind all kinds of all kinds of stuff with it. This is one of those tools that I didn't know how much I would use it until I had it. So I just had to pull the trigger and buy it. And man, I'm glad I did. I use it on a daily basis. Every single day I'm using that thing. Now, my first uh, weld, my first bend, uh, it didn't matter where I put it on this tube, because like it's round, so I can twist this in any direction. The second one is going to matter because it's got to be clocked in the exact right, exact position. So I will get it in place, I will tape it, and I'll mark it before I pull it out and then weld it up. So that's, that's right. Like that looks, that looks really good right there. Now, this lower one, I got lots of room going in that way on this lower leg. So I'm not really worried if it's not straight. If this was short, then I would be in trouble. But I got lots of, I got lots of pipe into the tube so I can move it back and forth and then get it dialed straight like this way horizontally before I seal it up. Right now I just gotta get it marked to where I'm gonna weld it up together. And you know what? <clears throat> <clears throat> I need before I do that I need to take another quarter inch to three eighths off of this because it's too far this way over the lower tube so I'm going to take another three eighths off of this and then try it again all right I trimmed the other three eighths off and it's fitting much better it's lined up this way and this way so now I just got to tape it, put some witness lines on it, then I'll tape it, pull it out, tape it, put it together. All right. 
I got my witness mark. You can see that. All I need is one line. Line that up, wrap the tape around it, hold it together, tack it together, test fit it one more time. After it's test fit and it fits good and I like it, then I'll pull it back out, back purge it, and fully weld it up. Okay. Okay, now you can see, I think it looks a lot better like this. It's just tacked in place, but you can see it's straight. It's got a little, it's got movement. It's got adjustability. So I'm going to, I'm comfortable now to where I'm going to back, pull it all out, back purge it and fully weld up these two welds. And then that one will be done waiting on the rubber, the heat shrink clamps to come in. And then I will work on the lower one. That one might be a little bit trickier because it's a less of a bend, but we'll see. But so far, I'm liking that a lot better. I think it looks a lot cleaner. Now, it just occurred to me that some of you may not know what back purging is. So what back purging is, is it's pushing argon into the tube behind the weld. So you're getting argon flow behind the weld and on top of the weld, preventing oxygen from contaminating or oxidizing the weld. It's protecting the weld from both sides. You only have to do that with stainless steel or uh, titanium exotic metals like that. You don't need to do it with aluminum. You don't need to do it with mild steel. But um, for me, I always do it with, with stainless steel. And this is the setup that I use. I have a dual flow uh, regulator and I got this hose that runs and it's just going straight to this pipe. Now I just stuck the tube in the pipe and taped it up and sealed it. And I'm gonna turn it on and I cap the other end and put three little holes in there for the oxygen to disperse and let it argon flow continuously throughout the weld. When I'm doing bigger like exhaust pipes, I have some purge plugs. These are from TIG Aesthetics by Tycon Industries. Uh, and I got three different sizes, four different sizes, uh, but there's different brands out there. Those are just the ones that I have. They work pretty good. Uh, first ones I bought, so, but that's back purging. So I'm gonna turn my argon flow up. I usually go about 10, uh, 10 CFH, and then just let it flow, let it flow for a little bit, get all that uh, oxygen and stuff out of there and get the argon set in there protecting it and then i'll go ahead and weld it up okay it's all welded up it's not really focusing but this stuff welds up really really nice like i said so now i can put it back in the car and then rinse and repeat for the bottom hose uh, so yeah that's what i'm gonna do I'm going to set this back in the car. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to do the first, do the bottom one first because this will be in the way. And uh, But it's the same exact process. I'm going to weld a 90-degree bend on it and then trim it to fit and then put it back in. Uh, well, they're done. They're in and looking much better. Check it out. Straight, straight, and they're leveled. Comes out, 90 degree bend, all the way over, 90 degree bend up, and to the thermostat. Out of the water neck, straight, 90 degree up, 90 degree horizontal, 90 degree into the radiator. It looks a lot, a lot cleaner, much more thought out, like it was more pre-planned and not just thrown together. I feel like the way I did it yesterday, uh, it was just thrown, like it was, it looked good, 
but after coming back out this morning looking at it to me it looked like it was more just thrown together this all being all straight and 90 degrees uh bends looks like it's more thought out and uh looks better to me personally and it's a much cleaner look um that's the overall theme trying to make everything look clean look good and function properly so i think these radiator hoses are going to work way better than what i had in there before and it looks looks great so yeah those uh shower handles from home depot they weld up awesome it's it's 304 stainless steel like it it's great it works perfect for this stuff uh if you can't get it uh cheaper than than 30 bucks um go to home depot and get it all right until next time thanks for watching uh don't forget to hit the like subscribe notifications button and get some more of these videos out there until next time